We forgive you, but you did destroy my family. A family destroyed and speaking up after a speeding driver killed St. Louis police officer David Lee in the line of duty. Now tonight, as Officer Lee's family mourns the unimaginable, we're learning more about the man accused in his death. First Lord 4 investigates uncovering details about the driver who hit Officer Lee. According to court documents, Ramon Chavez Rodriguez is in the country illegally and has a criminal record. He is charged with driving while intoxicated under an enhanced law when the death of a law enforcement officer is involved. Our Alexis Zoto is telling us tonight what else she's uncovered about this suspect. She's live in a memorial for Officer Lee outside of North Patrol. Sam, Corey, you can see behind me this memorial continues to grow on top of this patrol car outside of the North Precinct here. Now there is so much sadness surrounding this tragic death, but there is a lot of anger and frustration over something that many say should never have happened. David has been a protector my whole entire life. Like, it's been me and my big brother, like, I knew David was going to be a police officer when we was little. Daniel Williams and several family members visited the memorial outside St. Louis's North Precinct Monday. Flowers in hands, tears in their eyes, and a heaviness in their hearts. We hurt y'all. We hurt David. We love you, Lee. If I would have known you was going to leave, I would have loved you harder, but I don't even know if I could have loved you any harder because everybody know I loved you from the bottom of my feet to the top of my head. Married 19 years, Tanya Lee says she takes comfort in being by her husband's side in his last moments. What gives me total peace is to know I held my husband's hand and prayed with him. Sunday morning, Officer David Lee responded to a single car crash on I-70 near Grand. While removing flares and cones from his car, police say a 24-year-old lost control and smashed into the officer. 24-year-old Ramon Chavez Rodriguez has been charged. He is now charged with felony DWI, speeding and driving without a license. Court records show he is currently living in the country illegally. This mugshot is from 2020 when he was charged in St. Charles County with domestic assault, DWI, and endangering a child. He pled guilty and a judge gave him probation. Now questions continue to mount on why he remained in the U.S. This could have been prevented. We spoke with immigration attorney James Hacking to understand the policies and procedures in place. Some states do not notify ICE as a matter of course when an, an undocumented immigrant commits a crime. Other states like Missouri do work with Immigration Customs Enforcement. St. Peter's police who originally arrested Chavez Rodriguez in 2020 say they did notify the federal government. But the federal government declined to detain him. Missouri lawmakers, including U.S. Senator Josh Hawley, are pointing to this tragedy as a reason to close the border. Hacking says the current system is broken. The problem is right now to deport someone can take years and years because the courts are so backlogged. But for Officer Lee's family, their focus is on finding strength and forgiveness. We forgive you, but you did destroy my family. Tanya Lee saying that moments like her daughter's prom graduation will be especially tough without her husband and their children's father. They do have two children, a son and a daughter. His wife also saying it's the simple moments of him walking through the door that they are going to miss the most. They also hope that this tragedy could potentially spark some change. She is hopeful that there could be improved protocols to keep first responders safe when they are responded to crashes on the interstate. Reporting live in North St. Louis, Alexis Zotos, First Alert 4. Alexis, thank you. And First Alert 4 has reached out to Immigration Customs and Enforcement with questions regarding the suspect's legal status in the country. Now, Immigration Attorney James Hacking, who you heard from there, says records including when he came into the country and how are not public. St. Louis police tell us the suspect is expected to have an immigration hearing next month. This